We are eating this morning at Bob Evans. And here's a fun fact about my mother-in-law. She brings her own coffee sweetener. When you gotta have English toffee, you gotta have English toffee. <laughs> So London's having a cheeseburger for breakfast. Brunch. <laughs> oh, it is brunch. So he, brunch. I got the rise and shine. So I got my biscuits, bacon, hash browns, and eggs. Carla got some of the best looking French toast I think I've ever seen. Hello. So we'll have about half maybe. Oh my gosh, but y'all, we've eaten so much food. This is ridiculous. Stretchy pan day. It is, it's legit a stretchy pan day. <laughs> we, I've just finished eating at Bob Evans. It was phenomenal, phenomenal, it was so good. We're super full. I feel like we all have food babies going on. But now we are about to head over to London's favorite activity in Branson. And it should be pretty awesome. It's quite possibly the most beautiful attraction in Branson. We have our butterfly palace. We're wearing our masks. We're social distancing. We're social, well, we're trying and we're about to go play with some butterflies. Y'all, we come into the first room and there is a tailless, what is this? MSC Cricket. Tailless whip scorpion. This is the stuff nightmares, straight up nightmares are made of. So we're looking for the red eyed tree frogs, right? They're all up here. So it's just like lined with like little tree frog hineys. All you can see is the frog butts. And it says frog butt right there. <laughs> so the butterfly palace is so much more than just butterflies. They have, kind of, they, it's a rainforest science center. It's a couple little reptiles. They have a mirror maze, which I can't guarantee we're gonna be good at, but we're going in. Okay, y'all. So I'm trying to find them and I keep looking at the mirrors and I can't tell if it's real, y'all. So I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna just like slap them in the faces by accident. Mama, you have to tell because it's reflection. Oh, we're all together again. Oh my goodness. Here we go. That's not open. Oh, we found a little corner. We thought we found a way out. Carla's actually pretty darn good at this. That's all I have to say. Yeah, it's not that tough. You can well, Freedom! We made it! That's London, give me your victory dance. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> that was so far off. I know. We conquered it, y'all. We just walked in and she's already got her butterfly going. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. London, you did it. London, that's so cool. Oh, it's so beautiful. Are you having fun? Yeah, I got two butterflies on You did? It's like super relaxing being in here. Like you've got the, what is it, the dulcimer? Mm -hmm. The dulcimer guy is playing. You've got these butterflies literally swarming around you. It was, they keep landing on us. But, can we see if I can get one? No. But they give you these little things of nectar and the butterflies will come sit on top of these and they'll drink out of it. And it's actually pretty cool because it's really sweet. Oh, it's on me. You're sweet. Yeah. See? I have buddies today, guys. Oh, and it's a beauty. Look at that. It's sparkling. It changed turns. Can you open up for us? 
Can you open up for us? There you go. <laughs> That's so cool. Hi. So yeah, as you can see, the butterflies aren't skittish. So Carla's had one on her flowers since about the moment we walked in. Oh, thought there were two. Oh, we're gonna get another friend. So London just got one. He immediately picked up his nectar and it went right on him. What do you think that butterfly's name is? Choppy. Choppy. It looks like a choppy. Whoa. Wow, look at that one. Like yours better than mine. Your old news, Carla. I know. So is this place as cool as we told you it was going to be? It's pretty fabulous. <laughs> we could just sit here all day and watch the butterflies because they're really cool. They are. They kind of fly in packs. And then we find a new one. They're awesome. Come on. Oh, we got one. So we came to the Butterfly Palace about three years ago for the first time, mainly because they had a group on and we didn't realize how much we were going to fall in love with this place. And so it's been a while since we've been able to come back here, but we got to bring Mama Kay this time and she's having a blast. <laughs> she just keeps finding benches and they just keep swarming her. And London's trying to find this one specific butterfly. So we'll see if that happens. But masks are required here during this time, but it's not even that big of a deal. Families are all together. It's a good opportunity to just get out and get somewhere serene, tranquil, and that's a little bit different than what most of us have been dealing with during this quarantine. Okay, do y'all remember on Home Alone, the lady with the birds? <laughs> Home Alone 2, lost in New York. She got the seeds and birds everywhere. Just keep that in mind when you see this picture. We have Carla, exhibit A. But when I say lady with the boobs, let's just kind of zoom in so I can show you what we're working with here. And I have the prettiest, I have the new butterfly. I know you do. They're in her hair. She's got like three or four. And they just keep coming. <laughs> So we got done with the butterfly palace. Now, so, now where are we? We're in the talking rocks cavern. But you gotta look at the camera, man. I can't hear you. Where are we? We're in the talking rocks cavern. Well, we're waiting, and then we're gonna go into the caverns and see everything. And I also have a go kart. They do. So we are out here at Talking Rock. They also have a golfing course. Yes, they do. Go see a real in just a minute, baby. So we are out at Talking Rock Caverns. We are trying to enjoy the day outside of the strip here in Branson and so we have done the butterfly palace which as you could tell we kind of all loved and so now we're out here to do something a friend recommended So we've stopped to take pictures 100 feet underground here at Talking Rock Caverns. <sighs> She's abiding by the mask. I can't, I'm out of shape, I need to take we're, a breath. We're ready to get rid of the mask. But check this out. What? I'm living all my best Indiana dreams. 100 feet underground. I'm Indiana James today. <laughs> I cannot London. believe we're 100 feet underground. You can't yeah, believe it? Cool. Mm -hmm. that would be it's like impossible to get tall. down here. Do you like, like it? The skyscrapers we saw. That would be like crawling to the top of them. It's pretty fun, guys. It's pretty fun. Yep. All right. We just walked up 265, well, up and down 265 stairs at Talking Talk Rocks Caverns. Yep, yeah, Carla said 265 stairs all the way up, one way, <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> but we are now starving, so we're at Pick and Porch Grill getting some snacks at Branson Craft Mall and then we are gearing up to go to Sight and Sound Theaters tonight. And London ordered, what did you order? What did you order? Tell her. Tell the people. London got a double burger because he said he was that hungry. So <laughs> I kind of forgot what's on my burger. You can't really tell where Bacon. the fries 
fries start and they stop right and the onion strings oh, begin. Wow. Holy cow, bacon. and then Carla's looks bomb. Jalapenos. But picking porch grill is in the back of Branson yeah, Craft Mall and it's so tasty. Okay guys, we are doing my favorite part now. We are here at Sight and Sound Theaters. Been here several times. I have seen Joseph, Moses, Samson, Miracle of Christmas, and I think that's it. But now I will be adding Noah to my list and I'm very excited to share that with my mother-in-law. We've got a couple minutes to wait till the doors open, but we are so pumped. Now we cannot film in there, but I will try and show you guys a little bit of the theater itself. But for obvious reasons, we can't film during the production because, well, let's be real, I'm gonna be watching it. So anyways, enjoy. So, what do you think of Sight and Sound? First impressions? I try huge. It it's huge. And it's then you said the curtains come up. On I know. The I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. And then that—that's all staged too. But you walk in and you see just how truly big the stage is. And then you realize it's a 180 theater, so all those curtains will pull up as well. So we are in our seats. We're here like 30 minutes early. <laughs> There's um, people are trickling in. They are doing social distancing between some people in the seats, but I'm sure we will have some more people in our row because this is ridiculous to leave open. But I'm so excited. This production is supposed to be one of the most grand in terms of the sets, in terms of the animals. So I think it's going to be pretty phenomenal. You might be familiar with Sight and Sound Theaters if you watched their production of Jesus on TBN and I believe on Pure Flix during the Easter season, he during this year in quarantine. See, London even remembers all about it. He's chatting up, chatting up a storm. But their Jesus production was phenomenal, so if you can't make it out to Branson or to a Sight and Sun location during this season, don't worry. You can come out in the 2021 season and see Jesus for yourself in person. The play, not the Savior, because we don't know when he's coming back. It's show to <laughs> Thoughts? Um, um, you get a chance to go see Marilyn. Definitely go see Oh my gosh. Amazing. Okay, it's just hard to believe that they weren't all real animals. And how many were real animals came up there? That was a great show. So that was the end of our Branson day today. And I think there's something so special about sight and sound, and I'm gonna cry, so don't judge me. But the fact that they just put the Bible into life in a way that most people don't get to see it is truly a beautiful thing. But um, at the end of every single show, they do a salvation call, and they invite people up to meet with their prayer team if they'd like to give their life to the Lord. And this was the first time I turned around and really looked to see if people did, because I normally like to leave people some space and not really like be intrusive because it's such a special time. And there was people up there because of this show tonight, giving their lives to Jesus. And I think that says so much about what they do here at Sight and Sound. And so, yeah, that's the end of this video today, guys. <laughs> and so if you guys like this video, share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to talk about Jesus any day, you contact us, you message us, you comment below. Your light is marvelous, you have come to set us free. You are marvelous, your light is marvelous.